John Dryden Dramatic Works Hello and welcome to the discourse John Dryden was the most successful author of the restoration period he began his career during the rule of Oliver Cromwell and continued during the restoration period after the death of Cromwell Dryden celebrated the restoration of monarchy and the return of King Charles II in 1660 that was the year when the ban on theaters was revoked Dryden established himself as a poet and began producing dramas too. Dryden turned to dramatic works following the reopening of the theaters at the Restoration. His first attempt, the comedy The Wild Gallant, was presented in 1663 at Drury Lane. It was a comedy that was written in prose, though the prologue and epilogue of The Wild Gallant were written in verse. It was a derivative work. John Dryden borrowed a lot from Ben Jonson's Every Man out of his humor. In the preface of The Wild Gallant, John Dryden wrote, "This is the first attempt I made in dramatic poetry. The play has a prologue in the opening scene of which two astrologers are featured who make horoscopes for the play's fortunes for that day and discuss how the play will be performed." they discuss how the play will be received by the audience when it is performed in 1664 the indian queen was performed it was a tragic play written by john dryden in collaboration with sir robert howard sir robert howard was dryden's brother in law this play gained huge success after this play dryden wrote a sequel to it which was titled the indian emperor and was performed in 1665 the indian queen was a heroic historic tragedy written in rhymed couplets john dryden returned to comedy as his play the tempest was performed in 1667 the alternative title of this play was the enchanted island John Dryden wrote The Tempest or The Enchanted Island in collaboration with William Davenant. William Davenant was the unofficial poet laureate of King Charles I's court. The Enchanted Island was an opera adapted from William Shakespeare's play The Tempest. William Davenant was considered a foster child of William Shakespeare. The Tempest or The Enchanted Island was written partly in blank verse and partly in rhythmic prose Dryden and Davenant kept a good amount of Shakespeare's original verse however the tone of the play was brought down they also added an impressive amount of their own rhythmic pattern and added a few new characters to the play including Hippolyto a man who has never seen a woman and Dorinda the second daughter of Prospero while Miranda the girl who has never seen a man except her father falls in love with Ferdinand son of the duke of Mantua on the other hand Hippolyto falls in love with Dorinda another character is the ghostly ethereal Milsha who is Ariel's girlfriend another important dramatic work by John Dryden was the state of innocence which was published in 1677 Dryden started writing it in 1674 and before writing this work Dryden met John Milton and asked for his permission to write an adaptation of Paradise Lost. The full title of this play is The State of Innocence and Fall of Man an Opera. Originally it was titled The Fall of Angels and Man in Innocence an heroic opera. The State of Innocence is a five act drama chiefly focusing on books 2 4 8 and 9 of Milton's poem Dryden wrote this adaptation in heroic couplet Dryden was an admirer of Milton's and described Paradise Lost as one of the greatest most noble and most sublime poems which either this age or nation has produced In 1676 Dryden again published a tragic drama titled Aurangzeb The spelling is O A U R E N G dash J D B which was loosely based on Indian Mughal emperor Aurangzeb and tells the story of his succession to the throne of Delhi. The other important characters of the play included Shah Jahan Aurangzeb's father and Murad or Murad Baksh 
the youngest brother of Aurangzeb. John Dryden again published a tragic drama in 1678 which was titled All for Love or The Word Well Lost. It is a heroic play written in blank verse. It is again an imitation of Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra. Dryden stressed more on the last hours of life of Antony and Cleopatra. The subtitle of this drama was The Law Word Well Lost. John Dryden took the story of Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra in his drama All for Love. Another important drama by John Dryden was Oedipus which he wrote in collaboration with Nathaniel Lee. Oedipus was published in the year 1679. It was an adaptation of Oedipus Rex written by Sophocles. The full title of the drama was Oedipus A Tragedy. In the preface of Oedipus, Dryden refers to Sophocles who wrote the original work along with Seneca and Comelli who adapted the subject of Oedipus to create their own works in Latin and French respectively. Dryden then explains why he considers Sophocles' original work better than Latin and French adaptations. So we have briefly discussed seven important plays by John Dryden namely The Wild Gallant, The Indian Queen, The Tempest, The State of Innocence, Aurangzeb, All for Love and Oedipus, A Tragedy. We will continue to discuss the poetic works of John Dryden. Please stay connected with the discourse. Thanks and regards.